I'm reading now from the book of Mark chapter 16 and I want to start at verse 15 and read through down through verse 20. It says, and he said unto them, and by the way, this is the Messiah or, or Mashiach, uh, his name being Yahusha, it's doing the speaking here. And it says, and he said unto them, he's talking to his disciples, he says, go ye into all the world and preach or proclaim the good news or the gospel to every creature. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. Notice the conditions he says right here. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. Now, the, the, the point I'm making right here is the fact is that he said he that believes and is baptized is talking about, of course, you know, uh, not just water baptism. Actually, water baptism is an outward sign of the, of the spiritual experience that you and I have, had, that have received and believed on the Messiah that actually has happened and transpired. We were dead, but we've been raised again to life. And this is what the symbolism of the water baptism represents, is that we have died, but we have been raised again into life because we've received the Messiah. And we have his Ruach, we have his spirit, and that's what gives us life. And that's what it's talking about, to be baptized also. We're, we're there's, the scripture talks about a number of different types of baptisms. But one of the baptisms is, is baptism of water, but there's also the baptism into the Ruach HaKadosh, to be put into the, the, the Ruach HaKadosh, to be put into us, to be, for us to be put in to the, to the Ruach HaKadosh. And so right here it says, Go ye in all the world and preach the good news to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. <laughs> I love this. But he that believeth not, notice it just says, He that believes not, shall be damned. In other words, if you don't believe the gospel, if you don't believe that uh, that, that Yahusha is the son of Yahuwah, that he paid the price for our sins, our justification, and that he was raised again according to the scriptures, the, the, the scriptures themselves declare that you shall be damned. And that's not a good thing. Uh, and these signs, notice verse 17, and these signs shall follow them that believe. Now, if you don't believe, these signs will not follow you. <laughs> he makes a condition here. Yahushua says, these signs shall follow those that believe in my name. Now, again, the Messiah's name is Yahushua. And we know that it's Yahushua because of our past study. And I don't have time to just to break all that down for you again. But his name is Hebrew. And uh, he, he carried his father's name. And the father's name, is, our creator's name is Yahuwah. And his name being Yahushua was the name that he was given by his parents. This is the name that Gabriel told uh, his parents to name him because he said that in Matthew chapter 1 verse 21, he says, for he shall save his people from their sins. And, he, and all Hebrew names have, all proper Hebrew names have meaning to them. And his name, the Messiah's name, definitely had meaning to it. And it declared that Yahuwah is Savior or Salvation. Which Yahuwah declared he was our Savior in, in Salvation all through the Tanakh. There's, there's many of scriptures I could give you that Yahuwah declared himself as Yahuwah, your Savior or your Mashiach. He declared that many times. He also declared that he was the Savior of the whole world. Not just for the Yasharel, but he was the Savior of all the world. <laughs> and... Um, let me finish reading this. It says, In my name shall they cast out devils or demons. In his name they shall cast out demons. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Now let me just say this about this because this part here about taking up serpents and drinking any deadly thing. You know, a lot of, a lot of people have taken this and, you know, people have uh, what they call snake handlers, you know, and and, and all that. This is not what it's talking about here. It's, it's talking about that we have power over the power of the enemy. Of course, the serpents represent uh, Shaitan, but it's also talking about, and he says here, any deadly thing that actually you and I could, could, can use our faith and in the name of Yahuwah overcome any deadly thing like, like poison or even, even a, uh, if, we were, if, if you were bitten by a snake that you actually could overcome that. Now, again, 
Not everybody believes these verses, but you don't go out and tempt Yahuwah by handling snakes and uh, and drinking arsenic or whatever. You know, those that, that's that's being tempting, and that's that will cause you know you you that's stupidity, and uh, that's not what it's talking about here. But I did have to mention that to you because some people think I'm, t I'm preaching, uh, you know, handling snakes and all that. I'm not. Um, but it does say that, uh, and actually it, it, it says, uh, if they take up serpents or if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Now, again, you have to believe that. This just doesn't happen if you don't really truly believe it. It, it happens to those that believe. They can lay hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover, but they do it in his name. In the name of Yahuwah, the name of Yahusha, which is Yahuwah is Savior or Salvation. And it says, they shall recover. <laughs> I love that. So then after Yahuwah uh, had spoken of them, he, had, he was received up into heaven and set on the right hand of Yahuwah. So when Yahusha had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and set on the right hand of Yahuwah. And they went forth, talking about the disciples, and they preached everywhere, Yahuwah working with them and confirming the word with signs following. <laughs> I love this. They went forth and preached everywhere. Notice they did the preaching. They, we have a part to play. And the, the part that we cannot play is healing the sick. Because it says Yahuwah was working with them. But they had to proclaim, you know, healing to the sick. They had to take authority over sickness and disease. They had to lay hands on the sick in his name. And Yahuwah's job was to confirm his own word with the signs following. But they had to go forth in faith first. And then Yahuwah watches over his word to perform it. May these words help you today, encourage you to go out and, 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 and lay hands on the sick and see them recover in the name of Yahuwah. Shalom.